Uh, my name is Rafi Mediavilla from criticologos.com.com. Gloria, I'm excited to talk to you. Thank you for taking a little bit of time and congratulations on this movie. I'm a fan of Stephen King, so, so we, I got to tell you that. <laughs> Thank you for having me. It's nice to meet you. Um, Captain Hollister. I mean, again, I'm a fan of, of, of Stephen King, so this is like something that I had to see, that I had to coverage. So, I mean, I absolutely love everything they did for all the characters coming from the, the, the movie, from the uh, 81 movie to this one. So I gotta ask, how much did you know of the source material or the, or did you see the original movie before coming into this one or did you want it to come in blind? No, I remember watching the original, you know, um, pretty much not that long after it came out. So I was familiar with it. And then um, I remembered, actually, I remembered Martin Sheen very much in that role of Captain Hollister. I went back and saw it just because I had to. I mean, who doesn't want to watch the original anyway? And, um, you know, as you had mentioned, I love how the this new version, this new adaptation um, honors the original by pulling in uh, pieces of, from about the family and about the, um, you know, experiments, if you will. So there's that, which is great. And, but it's also fantastic to just kind of you know, embody this role of Cap Hollister in a way that is uh, fresh and new and really creepy and really eerie and mysterious. And it's that to me, that's like a dream. <laughs> I'm glad you mentioned Martin Sheen, but I, what I loved about this one is, is a woman is, you know, yes. presented a character, it's not a man. And I wonder, was it difficult to you to, you know, present us this bit mysterious the you know villain who has an agenda or 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 were you comfortable in the role no well see i don't i don't see cap hollister as a villain in, at all i mean she's much more uh mysterious and multi-layered than that do you know what i mean she's doing there's a reason why she's new in that mm -hmm. position not, clearly that's a reflection of her talents not just as a woman i mean woman has nothing to do with it it's about don't get me wrong, it was fantastic to be cast. Like the role wasn't written for a woman, wasn't written for a woman of color, any of that, right? So for, for me to lasso this role is a huge, beautiful thing. But it was the mystery of her that I was drawn to, where it was the, un, it was the unwritten things about Cap Hollister that I was drawn to, because I knew that therein lied the opportunity to really be creative, to build this person, of you know who is she really? What really drives this woman? Why is she so after this family? I mean, we know why she is for work, but it's like, but she can't let it go. You know, there's something about right. So what is that? Um, there's this whole element of, you know, I mean, I love this stuff with Rainbird. There's this whole element of, you know, imagine being a woman in that position. How you have to be in order to not just get there but maintain it. And I remember speaking with Keith Thomas about this right out of the gate. I was like, look. I don't want this to be a woman who is just, you know, all she does is wear suits and it's just very, you know, like one layered. I'm like, no, 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 she's, uh, I, if I may, you know, I, I basically said to him, this is what you got, meaning you got me, which is, again, if I may say so, you know, rather attractive and, you know, I'm not, I don't want to subdue anything. Yes, of course, she's going to wear suits, but it's like not non-generic stuff. Let her be sexy mm -hmm. as well as strong intelligent and a little soft around the edges at times as well, multi-layered, that's what was fun. I think you nailed it. I mean, I mean, I, I, you said it yourself. I, I saw the smart, you know, focus and strong, uh, you know, driven agenda, uh, uh, Captain Hollister, which, which I love. Obviously, Martin Sheen has his, has his take, but your take just elevated a little bit, a little bit more. So I'm gonna, I wanna, I wanna, I have to say that to you. I want to talk before I leave. I want to talk about Ryan. I mean, she absolutely <laughs> blew my mind, right? I mean, come on. I mean, this is a girl. But she said, I don't even know how to, how old she is, but what what they were they made her do. I mean, you were there. I want to know how was she reacting to everything. She was a she is amazing. She is an amazing actress. She is extremely prepared, very professional so nice and really funny she just and she blew my mind too man she would be she's i really admire her in this way because i'm not like this but she'd be able to chat and kind of you know joke around a little bit and then in between takes right or in between setups and then when it's time for her to do that serious stuff of literally almost like setting herself on fire she's like 
focused and emotional and deep. I'm like, man, this, this girl is, <laughs> she's awesome. And it shows in the film. She is extraordinary. I'm just, I mean, I didn't get to work with her that much, but so obviously, you know, I don't know this young woman, but I, all I can say is that I'm really proud of her and I'm so happy for her and I'm really excited about her future. It's, it's, it's a terrific thing for a young actress like her. And, and Zach as well is awesome. It, it was a, Keith Thomas, an amazing director. It's, it was a win, 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 all of our support. People that follow me and know me, I'm, I'm all about women empowerment and power, putting women in, in uh, leading roles. So that's why I love about this movie specifically because they had you in a powerful role and then they had Ryan ruling, you know, the rooftop. Yeah. Um, the, I, I'm saying that because for my, 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 my last question, what can people expect from the movie that are they coming from the novel, like myself who read the, the novel, also saw the, the, I mean, I was two years old when, the, when that movie came out, but I, I saw it eventually because I'm a fan. So what can they expect coming into from coming from there to this one? A lot of, a lot of people want to know what they can, what can, they, can they expect. Yes. Well, a, a few things, you know, honoring the original by, again, drawing in the elements of, of that story into the current one, but also, you know, it being much more modernized, not just, of course, great special effects, etc. But, you know, the suspense is, is relentless. The, um, you know, the tension is great. The whole, like, as you mentioned, you know, Cap Hollister being a female now, wanting to get Charlie, make sure that, you know, there's this whole element of, all right, so you know what that that flips that whole relationship on, on its head in a great way because it's not a, a male that's going after the family and this girl. It's like a woman going after this girl who just lost her mother. Like it's a whole other different thing at play, which adds all of these throughout the whole film in all the characters, all of these multi layers uh, that are unexpected and just like, wow, I never really thought about that. And you don't think about it, but it's in there and you end up thinking about it afterwards. It's great, terrific film. Gloria, again, congratulations. Thank you for taking a your time. And you nailed it. I mean, that's, that's my, what my, my review was. It's just added your character and Brian just added new layers to the story because we are seeing in a different perspective. It's women, women going, you know, just butting heads and that was great. So thank you. Thank Once you, Rafael. My pleasure. Thank you. All the best. Thank you.